Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, here we are on top of the machinery roof this morning and um, what we're doing is starting our project. see that behind me here um, where we've got the the rails I've already done one side and um, so what I'll do is we'll sort of I'll show you exactly what's going on here and you know I, I'm a first time sort of um, installer here for this this racking and I am really really impressed on how easy it all comes together I thought it would be super hard but um, but anyway look what we've got is, you can see that I've got one rail in. I've got to then put the second side in for the bottom of the solar panels. And then we can get a few things squared away. So I'll show you on the other side what we're dealing with and, um, and we can go from there. So I'll see you soon. All right, so as you can see on, on the left-hand side there that um, We've got the rail, the aluminium rail going through and we've got the feet then connected to the actual tin itself. Um, you can see another line of screws running through here. This is where that second rail will be. That spans around about 1200 and the um, solar panels that I have are 16. So we're gonna have good coverage there. But what I wanna do on this roof, cause it is so big, you know, we're, we're well, what are we, 20 meters or so. I'm gonna have, two different um, strings I think they call it and um, so I'm gonna have the first bank of solar panels of nine and I'll have another second panel of nine um, and then I'll feed that back into the the solar house now I haven't got any of the componentry for the um, power generation as yet that's all sort of coming through as as, as the project um, continues but the overall objective is, is to get to power to the machinery ship and then in turn um, what we want to do is then have a look at powering up that cool room that we've got downstairs. All right, but um, what I thought I would sort of have a look at is, is um, the way that this system all comes together, you know, and it's, it's pretty cool the way that they've done it. And as you can see, we've got a, um, what they call a joiner or a splice I think the actual technical term is where the two rails are locked in together and you've got these little feet so that you've got space underneath the rails and um, and then that in turn keeps uh, everything elevated and um, and then we can run some cabling and earthing and all that sort of stuff but you know what I've done is I've spaced them out at around about every meter I'm not sure if that's over-engineered or under-engineered it was just the way that I sort of figured that that would be a good span and um, and then we can go from there so what I'll do is I'll get these next row of feet in and I'll show you what we're dealing with on that and, um, and then we'll get these rails all squared away all right always something to do at Fat Cow Farm <laughs> well right, I'll see you soon Alright, so as you can see, I've got all the feet now set up, and um, like I was saying before, they're all about a metre apart. Now, when, when looking at these feet, the um, what they have is, because you'll be taking, you're changing over the screws, and um, you're making, putting longer screws in to hold the feet down, but on the bottom of the, of the feet themselves, they've got this rubber little gasket here, and, um, and that seals off onto the tin. And then you can just attach um, all the rails onto that um, adjustment so you know you can make your rails nice and level and, um, and you can go from there and then the big screw just sits through that hole there and attaches back onto your um, your batten now what I have done is I've reinforced the battens underneath and this was all a part of the planning that I wanted to um, do when I was building this shed that the um, I've doubled up on the top hats um, through these two top sections and I've also done the other two on the other side 
um, just in case that um, this is on the this side here is on the um, on the western side so I thought just in case that um, I put another two strings in we'll just need to see what happens there but um, I'm hoping that um, we won't need to so with this system that we've got going in here um, the amount of solar power that it's going to to generate well when I say generate up on the top here we're going to have close to around about 10,000 um, watts so that's 10 kVA and um, and then that's going to be running a, a 5,000 um, kVA system inside the shed and then um, the batteries that we're going to be using we'll have storage up to I've sort of done some calculations and, I, and I'm hoping that I'm going to go all the way but we've got the provisions to go up to 22,000 22, kVA so I'm hoping that we won't need to go that high but um, but look anyway it's all about the storage capacity but also about getting the power into those batteries and um, and then go from there so at the moment what we're looking at is that we're on the um, northern side and this is sort of the orientation that we put in the shed so um, and it's all going to come down we've got no shading here so as you can see all around we've just got nothing so um, this was one of the locations that we, we really wanted to try and um, sort out for the machinery shed and um, and then we can go from there all right so I've got my like I said I've got my feet in um, I'll go grab all the rails and get them loaded up onto the roof and um, and I'll start putting these together okay oh look and also too the what I'm trying to do here is all the manual labor um, so that when the sparky turns up all he's doing is just the wire connections and making sure that everything's safe um, just because we're so far in the middle of nowhere um, having the sparky come out on multiple trips sort of doesn't really work out so um, just trying to make sure that I can get all the, the labor done and, um, and then they can come in and, and wire everything up all right we'll get these rails so we'll see you soon all right so here we go mate all sorted out so top and bottom rails all done they're ready for our um, 19 solar panels now and then what I'm thinking is that we'll have a gap here in the middle somewhere where we can put the isolators and and then have a bit of a, a visual reference about the two different strings um, so all sorted I'm pretty stoked about this it's um, we're another step closer another step closer so yeah I'll get the solar panels um, lifted up I've just got to speak to the, the When I say earthing cables, the earthing clamps, um, how that all works, and um, and what I need to do, get those clamps on there for him. Um, but apart from that, here we go. Step one of our solar off-grid system ready to be installed. So fantastic, mate! Absolutely fantastic. So that's 20 meters of, of railings there. So 40 in total, and. Um, all we ready to rock and roll all right then well like and subscribe all about installing your solar rails or racking i think they call it like and subscribe and i'll see you soon